morning. It's one of the most requested DIY projects ever. Just basic painting tips. My sister-in-law needed her bedroom painted, so I took that opportunity to test out the latest painting tools. Some amazed me, others failed miserably. <laughs> I'm going to be bringing in some of my old standbys, my old favorites, but also some new tools that we're going to be giving a shot to give you an honest review on if it's worth the money. Let's start with that 18 inch roller by Purdy. This is super neato, isn't it, Deb? Yeah. Are you into it? I'm in it. I'm into I'm, it. I'm in it all I'm the way. Snaps like that. What? That, it, did you feel how nice that is too? But first, we need to paint the edges of the wall near the molding before we roll the paint. That's called cutting it. This short handled two and a half inch brush by Wooster is my all time favorite. Also, let's talk about the handy paint pail. It has these inserts, so you can just take it out when you're done and throw it away. And this is really exciting. It has a magnet right there, so. Any, anyone? In, huh? in, in the back? No? Okay. Cut in with the brush, feather it out, roll it while it's still wet so that you aren't seeing a line. Here's something to skip at the paint store, the easy pour lid. It's supposed to save the top of your paint pail. But I think this pops in there like this. It's kind of like a Tupperware lid. I think I got it. Did you? Huh? <gasps> You are such a benefit to have. Ah! The handle's gonna be a problem. Oh, all right. The easy pour gets an F from me. That is not worth your money, in my opinion. And you still have to clean off all the paint after you pour. So now let's cut in. I like to cut in one wall, then roll, then cut in the next wall, then roll. If you have two people, it's best for one person to cut in and the other person to roll. Let's do our roller duel. Roller 18 derby. inch roller versus the 12 inch <laughs> roller. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna get our roller really coated. Tell me when you're rolling, Deb. Ready, go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm obsessed. You're 30, 40 seconds in and half the wall. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Time. One minute, 40 seconds. <gasps> That's pretty boss, right? That is way boss. Okay, now it's Debbie's turn. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, are you ready? On your marks, get set. <laughs> Go. You're at 2.22. Oh. Since we know that it's beat, can I try that? Do it, girl. All right, so we, look, we were at 302. We're throwing in the towel. Throwing in the towel. Why waste your time when you have the big boy? It also saved us paint because it went on so much more evenly. But don't throw out your 12 inch roller just yet. You, the 12 inch has its roll. <laughs> Get it? Um, because on these little short walls here, that 18 inch roller's not gonna fit. Now let's try another tool. Debbie found a tool I didn't even see. It's a corner thing. <gasps> Are you shook? I'm shook. That's a win. This is not. So instead of taping, this should be able to save us to protect the baseboards. Okay, this does not pass the Danielle test. Look what's happening. It didn't work. Trash. That's trash. The biggest winner here, that 18 inch roller with the microfiber cover on an extension rod. Chef's kiss. So, 
Did you learn anything? Yeah, Kukla wants to know if you'll come paint her room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next Friday, I do want to tell you that we also tried a really cool paint trick to make really crisp lines. So that's next Friday. It's a trick. It's a, it's a hot tip. A method, a technique. That you don't know about. How'd you learn it? Don't worry about that. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs>